So it's been ages, but I'm back and we are doing episode six, which is orthographics plan, and we're doing a bit of a draw along. Um, we're going to have a look at uh, the various stages as to produce a floor plan, and we're going to start by tracing. So we've got an underlay for a store in Newcastle. And at this point, what we're doing is we're working from the top of the page down. More important when we get into pen work, but we're tracing everything off. We've been very careful to uh, mask and tape the tracing paper to the plan. We're using a light box, um, but not essential. As we go through the process, you can see what I'm trying to do is work through horizontals moving down the page and then verticals going across the page. What is uh, super difficult when you're trying to record this is that I can't lean across. So ideally what you want to be doing is looking right down on the drone, but I've got to sit slightly back because of the camera. Otherwise you'll just get my head in there. So we'll start to pick up the paper, have a look at what we've uh, missed, keep doing that. Literally a tracing exercise at this stage, because this is a, to give you the principles of drawing a plan, it's not a design project, so it's we're not thinking about what we're doing with the space, we're just copying what exists. So zooming in a little bit, Everything is with a ruler. We're not doing anything freehand other than text on here. As soon as you start using freehand, it really stands out. So even for the shortest lines, we're going to use a ruler. And the curves, the door swings, the columns, the seats, we need a circle template for that, which we'll get to. The idea is that we'll trace this off and then remove it from the underlay drawing and then line it all in. This is probably the most important drawing that you can do is a floor plan. Uh, you know, the, the key idea of doing an orthographic, a 2D drawing, a plan, a section, an elevation are the ones that are going to see you through in everything that you do and the fact that we can still do it in pen and pencil and produce something that looks professional is super important. This is sped up eight times. Uh, it probably took about two hours to do uh, the pencil line work and then move into the pen work which we'll see soon. Continuing to check to see if I've missed any line work out. Remove the drawing and then put it on the light box. Okay, moving into line again. If we look at the set square, you will see it has a ridge on it or a recess on it. We flip it over because when we use the pens on the tracing paper, it will bleed if the ruler sits right onto the tracing paper. Um, as we work through this, ideally what we want to do is work from the top to the bottom. It is quite, as I said, quite difficult to do when you've got the, the camera overhead. So what I'm trying to do at each point is let the ink dry. You will see that as the drawing progresses, there are occasions where it gets smudges, but we can see how we can, uh, we can fix that. So super important that you uh, put the door swings in that we're seeing there and we use the circle template. You cannot draw these in by hand. It looks terrible. Starting to move across, do some verticals again. You will see that um, a lot of the lines, even the shortest ones are done with a ruler. Uh, and at this point we're lining in um, the things furthest away from us. So with, with a 0.1 pen. So 
so things closer to the floor before we get into furniture. So moving into furniture, which we're doing now, we've gone into a 0.3 pen. So as things get closer to us, as we look at it from above, the pen gets thicker. So the furniture is a 0.3. The shop display units are a 0.3. Starting to scratch in there to remove some of the mistakes or the smudges. But having to wait and wait for this to dry, the thicker pens, the more ink goes onto the tracing paper uh, and the longer it takes to dry and the easier it is to smudge. I've gone back to a 0.1 pen now just to line in the staircase or the stairs of the staircase. We'll move into a point three once we start doing handrails. So back onto a point three because we're now showing the product display. The drones starting to look really sharp now. We want to get some of the doors in thresholds there going across the, the threshold between inside and outside or two spaces should always be a line that sits there. Nice little smudge. You can sort that later. Again, continuing in the point three, starting to scratch off that a little bit more. It's actually easier to do it if you take the scalpel blade out of the knife, and we'll show you that later. So again, just going back and forth a little bit between a point one, just to catch up on any of the elements that we've missed. So th those things nearest to the floor. We're now moving into stud walls. So we're into a point seven. So if you imagine from a hierarchy point of view, thinnest line nearest the floor. As we come out, furniture goes a bit thicker and then into stud walls or partition walls a bit thicker. And then you will see that as we go into the um, the sort of weight bearing elements and structural elements, then we'll use a 0.7 pen in this case. As long as you have a range of line weights, it's not imperative that you use those, uh, those numbers, but they are the standard ones. So again, we've dotted back into a 0.5 line weight, just because I'd forgotten to line in certain elements. We're going to now put the section cut lines in, which you can see there, super, super important. If you don't put those in, we cannot read the plan. No excuses. Fattest pen right now is happening, 0.7. So you can see how sharp that drawing is. It has a few overlaps, you can see them, where you get almost like a uh, a crosshair on a on a corner, but it, we can we can scratch those. Which you can see there. So continuing to line in, scratched um, some of the mistakes out just while I was waiting for the ink to dry. A bit more scratching. Something I've forgotten to line in. So back to a 0.5 pen. Let it dry, sort out some of the mistakes. Important to close off your lines uh, here, particularly when you're going to put this into Photoshop. And then the final part is just labeling spaces. Finalizing cut lines. And doing the title block, so didn't like how I'd written, didn't how I'd like how I'd um, kind of spaced that out and went back and redid it. Always putting uh, horizontal pencil lines in as a guide, and then writing it in in pencil, and then going over in pen. So I'm using a 0.3 pen to do this. This is a must on these drawings. This is a piece of retail in Newcastle, which is a a jewellers. Yeah, so section A, got our elevation lines in, 
and then move on to we're going to put the original drawn back underneath and use that as an underlay to draw in the border and also put the the title block in in the bottom right hand corner so we're going with a point three line all the way around and then we're going to go for a point one in terms of the title block so any notes or annotations would go in that tall column I'm just going to trace over the text that's already in the title block and that will complete the plan super quick two hours down to about 11 minutes end of vlog